What's up, YouTube? This is Josh from the Boston V Dub Guys, and I am here in the brand new 2019 Jetta S in the uh, Habanero Orange, which I call El Fuego Orange. Um, but so we're in the base model Jetta, and what I want to show you is an in depth look at Android Auto. Okay, because I feel like this is something that people skip over, and there's a lot of people with Note 8s out there, or you know, Samsungs, LGs, whatever you have, that want to know how to use the car and what it does. So this is more an in-depth look. Now, I already hooked my phone up, um, just to save the time, but for the first time you do it, you're going to click App, and then Android Auto, and that just brings you up to this screen. Once you've done it the first time, you plug your phone in, it pops right up, so that's pretty easy. So we're looking at our home screen right now. This is just how it pops up, and I'm gonna give you a little snapshot here of some pretty cool stuff, okay? So, first thing, Problems by Petit Biscuit. That's what I was listening to last. Um, shout out to The Bisque. Uh, you're doing pretty good, I like your music. The next thing you'll see is home. My car knows with my Google Assistant that I'm either driving from work to home or home to work. So with that said, I'm at work, so it assumes that I would probably want to go home, um, <laughs> infer from that what you would like, but uh, yeah, so it automatically pops up the GPS to go home, and you'll see one other GPS beneath it, which is Volkswagen Meeting. So where this comes from is I actually had meetings all week um, that were with Volkswagen, and uh, between 8.40 a.m. and 5.30 p.m., I have that blocked off in my calendar, okay? So that being blocked off in my calendar with the address, it's really nice because when I get into the car, it tells me this is how you can get there. So what I use this for is do I have time to stop for Dunkin' Donuts on the way to the meeting? So if I click it, it pulls up my GPS, right? And boom, I have... south toward North Beacon Street. There you go. So in 34 minutes... I should be at that meeting. So if that meeting's in 45 minutes, I can stop at Dunks. I probably still can't stop at Starbucks because that takes 30 minutes for some reason. But I could probably stop at Dunks and get some coffee on the way. So I'm just gonna cancel this directions out. We'll get more into the navigation later. And I'm gonna go back to my home screen. So beneath that, you'll see I have uh, the temperature, um, person who I just called last, um, some group texts because I'm always in a group text. Um, I will point out, I don't know if you see that little logo right there. That's actually from Facebook Messenger. Um, I use Facebook Messenger for texting and that is supported with Android Auto. So you can use that. Um, so it, it, it's not like useless if you decide to use Facebook Messenger. All right, next step. We're going to go into the music, right? So if I go to music, this is a pretty simple system. Um, it's a giant play button to play the song, okay? So if I click play, it plays it. Not a big deal. Um, but there's a couple little hidden things that I do want to show you here, as well as um, I'll do a little thing on voice commands later. But the first thing I want to show you is right up here, there's this little dot, 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 like you'll see on the, uh, on the phone itself. Now, this is where you can get a breakdown of music for driving, recent activity, playlists, or podcasts. So, let's say you have a couple different playlists. I can go in and I can see what those playlists are. Now, remember, I'm using Google Play Music. So, that's how this is going to look on Google Play Music, which I suggest everyone gets if you have Android Auto or just a phone in general. Um, so, those playlists you can generate that way. Now, the other thing is the ellipses over here, when you click on that, this gives you the option to give a song a thumbs up, a thumbs down if you're like, I hate this and I never want to hear it again, or you can actually click this little radio thing, and that'll make a radio station for the song that you just liked. So, um, in this instance, let's say I make a radio station for Petite Biscuit, I might hear a song that I've never heard before. If I thumbs up that song... Um, I can add it to my thumbs up playlist so that I can find it later. Really cool way to discover new music. Um, all right, so I'm going to press that, close it back down. The last thing I want to show you with the music is if I click right here, it gives me a drop down actually of all the different apps that I have on my phone that are supported by Android Auto. So 95.7, the game. I'm a huge Raiders fan. That's the only way I can listen to the game. 
So that's why I have it on there. Google Playbooks. I don't listen to too many books. Um, iHeartRadio, radio, radio.com, SiriusXM, Spotify, TuneIn. These are all apps that, or, you know, apps that I have on my phone um, that I can use on uh, Android Auto. So huge thing there because people have different tastes and what they like. Again, I recommend getting um, Google Play Music because you can listen to literally whatever you want, which is awesome. Um, but now we're going to get into nav. All right. So you have the two things. So the, my most recent destination, which is where that meeting was. And then you have my home. These are my destinations that the car is assuming that I'll probably want just because Google's creepy and knows everything about me. Uh, <laughs> let's say that I want to, um, look at like a recent destination. I can click that or saved places, categories, if I want to look at categories. Um, so I have that option there. You have a search here. So if I want to type in an address, I can type it in and it'll pop right up. So let me just do that now. Let's say we want to go to Fenway Park. Cool. Fenway Park. Now it gives me the option. I can call them or I can get GPS. So I would rather get GPS. Head south toward North Beacon Street. And that's like immediate response GPS um, right up on the car. So super easy, very quick. Um, and this is a big thing because remember, I said at the beginning, this is the basic, basic Jetta. This is like a $21,000 car because it's an automatic. So if you're figuring that this car that is, you know, so affordable effectively has navigation, that's a huge thing. Um, and it gives turn by turn just like anything else. I'm just going to click that X and cancel it. You'll see now my recent destinations, Fenway Park is right there. But it's also time to look at some of the voice stuff for this because that's really great. Okay. So over on the steering wheel, you have this little person talking. That's you talking to your car. So if you just give it a uh, kind of a long press, it's like a one second press, you can voice command um, pretty much anything in the car. So the easy ones are play music by Petite Biscuit. Playing Petite Biscuit on Google Play Music. All right, so there you go. Very easy, very quick. Right now, I'm going to use the Fenway Park example again because everyone loves Fenway. Tell me how to get to Fenway Park. There you go. So it's going to give me a couple different options. Some of them have tolls. Some of them don't. Um, so, you know, you get a good, good amount of choices there. But again... Truly hands-free, very easy to do. Um, and you don't have to pull over to like type a bunch of stuff into the car. But there's also a lot of hidden things in this car. So let's say, for instance, you want to text somebody. Everyone knows you can text people through the system, or most people know that you can text them through the system. But what they don't know is you can actually use your Google Assistant features, such as like reminders or your calendar on this too. So if I say... Remind me in four minutes to thank my YouTube viewers and tell them to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'll remind you at 1046 a.m. There you go. <laughs> so now I have a reminder set in the car. Um, <laughs> boom. Selfless plug. Thank you, YouTube viewers. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Right down there, somewhere, over there. Um, but yeah, so anything, or not anything, but almost anything that you can do on your Google Assistant, you actually have some voice commands to do here. And that's really what I want to get across. It's a great system, and it's a great way to have a really uh, in-depth infotainment system without paying $30,000 for the car. So thank you. Uh, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.